Hello and welcome. I'm Pater and Wes Makel and this is your Noon Time Wrap. Senator Antonio Trillanes reminds policemen the bloody war against illegal drugs may have the support of President Rodrigo Duterte now, but things could change in six years. Trillanes also warns PNP Chief Roland De La Rosa this might send the message the PNP condones extrajudicial killings. E paano, sir? E continuous yung patayan eh. And uh, it's happening under your watch now. Uh, pagka nagtuloy-tuloy ito, uh, maraming mag-interpret nito na you are condoning or tolerating yung uh, mga vigilante killing, sir. De La Rosa insists the police have nothing to do with the killings. Hindi natin pinapahinto yung war on drugs na programa ninyo. Pero ang sinasabi natin dito, yung vigilante killings, eh, sinasabi nyo wala kayong kinalaman doon. Wala ho ba kayong kinalaman doon, sir? Wala po, Your Honor. Wala. wala. The PNP led by De La Rosa is at the forefront of Duterte's war against drugs. Critics say the campaign is anti-poor and encourages vigilantes. At least 712 drug suspects were killed in police operations around the country since July 1. <music> Finance Department is currently working on a tax reform package that will cut individual tax rates from 32% to 25% and corporate tax rates from 30% to 25%. This will slash government revenue by almost 200 billion pesos. The DOF plans to recover the losses through a package of new taxes and incentive cuts. Finance Secretary Carlos Dominguez proposes to eliminate some value-added tax exemptions and impose a sweet tax on sugary drinks and fatty food to encourage a healthy lifestyle. Dominguez adds the government is looking to adjust the fuel excise tax. Current rates are at 4 pesos and 35 centavos per liter. He proposes to increase excise tax to about 5 pesos and 65 centavos per liter. Investigators looking into pop legend Prince's death believe counterfeit pills may have killed him. Minneapolis Daily The Star Tribune reports authorities seized pills from Prince's Paisley Park estate marked as prescribed pain reliever hydrocodone. But the pills contained fentanyl, an intensely powerful painkiller for which Prince had no prescription. Prince was found dead last April. He was an advocate of healthy living and critical of musicians who abused drugs. And that's your noontime wrap. I'm Pater Nuez Makel. Join us again at 6 p.m. for today's top news.